I'm just having a great time working on some videos at 5 o'clock in the morning. Having a fun time today, dude. Hello there. I'm Peter Pan. Yo, why is there a 50 year old man in my room right now? Like, genuinely, who are you? Like I said, young one, I'm Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Uh, that name sounds funny. Oh, yeah. Aren't you like that, like, god who's like the, you know, like the god of, like, pedophilia or something like that? Sonny, I think you have me confused with Michael Jackson. Alright, look, man, I don't care who you are or what you are, okay? Just get out of my room before I call the cops. Well, I just wanted to have some fun. Don't you want to have some fun? Yeah, man, you know, I actually do want to have a lot of fun. I want to have fun making this video. I'm going to have a fun time calling the cops. I think I know what will lighten your mood a little bit. Tinkerbell, get the pixie dust. Coming right up, sir. Thank you. Now, let me demonstrate. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that good girl. Here, try some. Like I said before, I am fine. I mean, I, I'm, I'm good, I, I swear. Are you resisting? Tinkerbell, get the handcuffs. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Guys, he's got me locked in here. Being held against my own will. Being forced to stay in here and do tasks for him. If this is my final message. Send help. The address is in Neverland. House. 204. I think he's coming. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the guys dang internet. And hopefully, you guys are actually having a great day today. I know I'm not because I'm currently trapped inside of Peter Pan's basement. But now, in all seriousness, today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a 50 year old man who's been dressing as Peter Pan for the past 40 years. Of course, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button down below. It would really mean a lot to me and show your support for the channel. If you're around here and you want to stay around and see some more videos by me be sure to press the subscribe button be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when these videos come out follow me on all social media search below me instagram twitter discord and twitch main channel and podcast and uh yeah without further ado let's jump into this video play that disney reject this next story takes us to tampa florida by way of never never land Randy Constant is a 50-year-old man who likes to skip around in green leotards. And I'm sure what he's saying right now is very interesting, you know, something about green leotards. I should be paying attention, but I'm not. Can we just talk about how there's a 50-cent instrumental going on in the background? If I get copyrighted for that, I swear to God. This is something I invented called the Pixie Dance. So I think I was about eight when I told my dad. Yeah, yeah, okay, Pixie Dance, whatever, honestly, who cares? But can we just talk about them calves? Honestly, if you just want to get jacked, all you gotta do is just beat Peter Pan for a week. calf was, of course. So I think I was about eight when I told my dad, you know, I'd like to be a fairy. Because he probably wondered what kind of a child I was going to be. Look at me, I'm 50 years old and I'm still Peter Pan. This guy is 50 years old and he jumps more than I do. Honestly, when he's 80, he'll probably be jumping over Olympic hurdles. When I'm 80, I'm going to be a slump of garbage. <sighs> Um, I don't think there's any way to explain w why a 50-year-old man would want to run around dressed like Peter Pan. At some point, you have to think, like, you gotta grow up, right? But, nah, not this guy. What literally made you get out of bed and go, you know what, I wanna be Peter Pan. For the past 30 years, Randy Constant has been living his life as Peter Pan. Jesus Christ, how many outfits does he have? He's got a whole fashion show in his bedroom. Now, I know Peter Pan is green. Green, green, green. But what are all those dresses for? Now, I'm not judging. It's 2020. No one gets judged. But, like, does he, like, cross-dress with another personality or something? Here you go, you keyboard knights now. Oh, my God, Dead Killer, how could you be so judgmental? If all you're going to do is judge people, why are you even on the platform? I'll have you know I actually enjoy wearing women's clothing and all the women love it. Now listen, buddy, calm down. 
calm down. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just asking. I mean, he says he's Peter Pan 24-7. Do you think he's lying? To dress the part, Randy had to learn how to sew women's dresses into Peter Pan outfits. So far, he's handmade 15 outfits, which allows him to dress like his hero every day. When I found out that he dresses like that all the time, I was like, wow, he takes this farther than I thought he did. Wow, would you look at that? He actually does have some very supportive friends. But um, can you explain why you have Velcros over the breast region? She straight up has Velcro, zippers, all that stuff just to, you know, keep her goods locked up, I guess. What did I just say? Often I spend so much time working on the tops that I don't realize that the girls are looking at my tights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it in your pants, big fella, but I mean, that's what you get for wearing literal tights. <laughs> Being Peter Pan, I can stay childlike, despite whatever age I happen to be. I do everything I can to look young. I still have a haircut for a four-year-old. Hey, uh, anyone want to call the police because that sounds like some catfishing and maybe some underage relationships? He's even altered his physical appearance to look like Peter Pan. I do fuss with my hair a lot, and I do have my little beauty secrets about it. And Buddy, I'll give you the props. I mean, you're 15 years old, and you actually still have a lot of hair like that. I mean, you should consider yourself lucky. You know, me as an 84-year-old man, I'm actually balding in the back of my head. So that's as far as I'm going to go about my hair. It is what it is, and it grows out of my head. Were you proud of that joke? He really said, It is what it is. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions? More like a ticket to type 10 diabetes. Just looking like Peter Pan isn't enough for Randy. He models his regular diet after a parentless six-year-old. He genuinely wakes up 365 days a year eating nothing but literal Twinkies for breakfast. Takes that whole side of Peter Pan seriously. But Randy burns it off by spending over 15 hours a week practicing his Peter Pan moves. There is an art to leaping. You have to be practical. You have to avoid areas where somebody will shoot you. I mean, really, he can't fly, so he's, that's about the, the most thing that he can possibly do. Gee, I didn't realize I could jump that high. Like I said, this man's gonna be 84 years old, able to jump the wall of China. Gee, I didn't realize I could jump that high. Can Dr. Phil please put this man in the ranch? Oh wait, I forgot, he'll jump right out. This unfunny joke's been brought to you by Dad Killer. Randy's not just Peter Pan at home, he's Peter Pan. This mom and her son are really just roasting this man's entire life right now. Peter Pan everywhere, even though that's caused him to lose a job and his 20-year marriage. Unlucky, that's genuinely tough. I mean, it probably wouldn't happen if you didn't dress as Peter Pan. So what are you doing over here, Peter Pan? I'm just skipping around the Ebor City. A lot of nice girls. Yeah, a lot of tanks. Meet a lot of girls in those tights. <laughs> it works. I already picked up a girl today. That means you don't have to worry about my competition. Oh, yeah? My boy Peter Pan really out here like, yo, it's cranky like in my home skillet. Really just thinking about abducting someone's daughter, you know what I'm saying? And Randy is constantly on the lookout for his Tinkerbell. Hello. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, man, he's just looking for his Tinkerbell. If you guys have actually watched the movie, you know Tinkerbell's actually his slave. Not looking for all the girls in the world, just, uh, you know, a date now and then. I think the one piece of advice that I would give Randy is the tighter the pants, the better. Um, it worked for Bon Jovi, it can work for him. Despite the challenges, Randy plans on being Peter Pan forever. I don't see myself ever giving up being Peter Pan. It's the way I choose to live my life, and I'm having a ball. Well, at least it seems like he's actually, you know, having a good time, you know? I mean, as long as he's happy, we're happy, you know what I'm saying? And on that happy note, I think that's just gonna about wrap it up for today's video. So if you guys did go on to enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, press the subscribe button if you're new, follow me on all my social medias in the description below, and I uh, love you guys so much. Peace, peace.